shipping packages. You can create shipping packages or you can use the preset ones that the system comes with. We can have a look through. We see we've got some satchels from Curious Please, Fastway, some best price ones. And we've also included a range of Australia Post pre-existing packages that you can buy from your Australia Post store. You can create your, new, your own packages too. Uh, go to Products, Smart Send Packages. And in the left-hand column, let's create a custom package. Call it Big Box. This, actually, the description area here will be filled by a brief description that's compiled from the um, properties of the package. So this is a big box, which will mean it's a carton. You have a choice of satchel bag tube, skid pallet, crate, flat pack, roll, uh, if it's just a length, tire or wheel, furniture or bedding, or envelope to set as the basic package type. So let's just specify the dimensions. You need dimensions and weight for us to be able to do a, uh, a shipping quote. We'll call it, since it's a big box, 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters with a maximum weight of, I don't know, 20 kilograms. We add that new shipping package here. And we see that it's been added to the top there. You can go and click on it here, edit it, and change it all around to what you prefer. These packages are used to associate a packing instruction against a product. So, if we go to products now, let's choose normal thing in a carton, a custom product we have for testing. Go to the shipping tab down here, and we see that we've got some parameters set up already for this particular item. Weight of 1.5 kilograms and its dimensions. These are generally required. You'll require a weight for the uh, packing instructions system to work properly. So let's add a package that can be instructed to contain several of these items, reducing your uh, shipping quote costs to the customer. Okay, so you can see we've got the preset ones and there's our one here, we'll click on that. Now it, what it does is it calculates what it feels would be the maximum amount of this item that, that could fit in that box. Ultimately, it is up to you to test and specify how many of this particular item will fit in each particular package that you instruct the system to use when uh, making quotes. So we'll use the predefined one there. It uses both the maximum weight and the dimensions to define exactly what it feels as a guide the most you could fit into that box would be. So let's add that box now to the uh, packing instructions. Okay, it's got one there. So anything up to 13 of this item in the shopping cart, they'll be packed into this box and it will get one quote for one particular package. Uh, in this case, say you had 10 items in there, that would be 15 kilograms. So it use 15 kilos as the weight and those dimensions, etc. This will decrease your uh, cost of quotes in the shopping cart and make things more attractive for your customers. You can have more than one packing instruction, okay? You might have a situation where they only have, uh, let's say, let's go mailing box, this one here. Well, they only have two items in the cart. If that was the case, then this packing instruction would be used. You might have a case where, let's go with something a bit bigger. And if they had three, this one would be used. If you've only got one, it will use, unless you specifically got a, a packing instruction that will fit one item, it will use the predefined dimensions and weight as specified for the product itself. So let's go now to have a look how this works with the order 
and the uh, checkout process, and then with the order itself and the fulfillment process. All right, here we are at the order page. We're going to uh, demonstrate the SmartPack system in action. We'll put two products into the cart, one that does have a SmartPack instruction set up and the other one that does not. So we'll add heavy thing in a carton and we'll add a couple of these guys. Let's view the cart now. Now if we look, remember back, we've made options for uh, two, three, and 13 uh, items. Okay then, we've got that there. We'll proceed to the checkout now. Okay, we're checking out. Uh, there we go, we're all good to go. I've already pre-installed, uh, preset all the uh, details for the checkout. Normally you'd fill these in. Let's go and place the order now. And we'll return to the admin console and have a look at the orders that have been placed. Okay, here's the order we've just made. I'll just set that to processing so that the smart send options will kick in. Now we can see that it has packaged the two items in the cart differently. The first item, heavy thing in a carton, did not have any packing instructions. So uh, it, was it was packaged as is. When the courier picks up that item, they'll be expecting the carton to be as described in the product shipping dimensions. As opposed to the other items, they've been put into the big box, which has a maximum capacity of 13. This is the cheapest option in this case. Instead of putting them into two into one carton and three into another, this way it's cheaper. So when the courier comes to collect the cartons, they must be exactly as we've specified here in the cartons or the particular package type, or you may be liable for additional costs or uh, fees, etc. Okay, just touching on a few caveats here. Uh, in terms of packages, normal thing in a carton. Shipping instructions only apply to one product, to one package type. You can't tell it to put five of one product in there and then it'll also fit two of a different product. We'll be uh, expanding that later to possibly allow for that, but for the moment, it's restricted to that. Okay, that concludes our instructional video for the new SmartPack system for WooCommerce. Feel free to go to digital.smartsend.com.au and review any of the tutorials we have there if you need further information. Otherwise, just go to Zendesk and uh, start a ticket if you want us to help you with something more specific. Thank you.